Yes, people, it's Ash. Um, I'm back. Going to do a little analysis of game week two and look at game week three as well. I have got very mixed emotions about game week two. Uh, yeah, if you were to see my video last week, I did three differential options, one of them being pukey. And I've been puking the last three days. Got my six bag here. Uh, as you can probably get from that, I stuck the tip out, but did I put him in my team? No, 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 I didn't do it, did I? Um, so yeah, I've had everyone, loads of messages, people coming, Ash, Ash made great tip, great tip on the money there, son, but no, I weren't on it, I weren't on it. Um, I'm pleased, like I say, mixed emotions, I'm pleased that I put it out there, it was right, uh, Leon, has prospered from it, so yeah, well done, Leon. Yeah, makes me really happy, mate. Um, but yeah, I didn't, so it kind of just feels like you know, you stick a 40 to 1 tip out there for a horse to all your mates, and then you get to the bookies, but it's shut, yeah. And all your mates are like living off the winnings. Oh man, it's a sickener, but yeah, I'll get over it. I'm not annoyed much, no, I'm not. Every cloud, get over it, Ash. Um, yeah, so I have my reasons, so I do have my reasons. So I did a little piece about knee jerk. So I couldn't justify taking out King or Delefeu. Like they've been in there a week, obviously put them in there in the first place for a reason. Just to dash them out quickly as one week, it wouldn't have been fair. You know, like imagine like, you know, you started a new job, done nothing wrong, sacked. You wouldn't be happy, would you? So I just thought that it was fair enough to keep him in there another week, a week or two, more like King stayed and scored a goal for me. So, yeah, I was happy about that, but it weren't hat-trick, was it? But, yeah, um, the other... Who was the other option? So I did... second one was Aaron's. His clean sheet got nicked in injury time, actually, so that was disappointing. Oh, that would have been another good pick. And then Montoya for Brighton. He looked lively from what I hear. But yeah, they could, West Ham can scored second half, so he didn't get a clean sheet. But yeah, all in all, some good picks. Um, moving on, because I'm sick of game week two, to be honest with you. But in terms of what I picked, um, we will have a look at stinker of the week for this week. So I'm going to go with Klopp and Adrian this week. So we would have seen Alisson got injured um, in the week. So then, um, yeah, basically Adrian turned up in the Super Cup, made the winning save from the shootout. And then Klopp did this. Adrian, big night for him. He really, he really enjoyed himself. What a story. <laughs> Adrian, like Rocky. After he lost against Apollo Creed, I think. Adrian, Adrian. Then three days later, Adrian did this. The runner is Armstrong. Oh, what a mistake from Adrian! Let me tell you, the only thing rocky about Adrian is his kicking, mate. Yeah? And Klopp, your judgment on a keeper. Like, is it just me or why is Klopp going for Adrian? Like, why is Liverpool going for Adrian? He's, he's a West Ham reject. Like, alarm bells would have been ringing if you can't get in the West Ham team, yeah? So, I don't know. If you're going to be competing with City, like, it's, it's not fantasy football, mate, you know? You don't, you don't get one free transfer a week here. Like, if Alisson's now out, I think he's coming back soon. But if he was out for six months, you're stuck with this cowboy, Adrian, in goal. For like until Jan at least, they gotta come better. Now we're gonna do deadest move of the week. I'm not gonna have to look far for this one. Uh, it's gonna be the same guy, um, guy I know, Tottenham fan. Son is in his team again. It's not the Asian Cup, mate. You know he's suspended. Yeah, he's back now. So yeah, don't don't now get rid of him. Um, I actually feel like I need to hot this guy up, man. 
So his name is Ricky Blass. At him in the comments. Get on to him. His name is Big Daddy Kane. More like Big Silly Mane. Just, just stupid. 9.5 million for two weeks just sitting. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Um, moving on to the differential options for this coming game week. I'm going to go with Madison, first of all, of Leicester. So, yeah, I think he started the season really well. Uh, he got an assist last week. He was the man of the match against Chelsea. He literally looks like he's pulling the strings in that team. A uh, really good technical player on free kicks, uh, corners. Uh, yeah, for me, he's getting better. I wouldn't be surprised to see him playing for England soon. Um, I think he's that good. Um, I could have gone with like Tillemans, Vardy, etc. They've got a lot of players, man. Leicester, like, if that game against Chelsea would have gone on any longer, they would have won that game, yeah, at Chelsea. So that just goes to show how tidy they're looking as an outfit, man. Um, just looks solid. I think attacking-wise, they look great. Obviously, they missed with Maguire, but yeah. Madison's my first pick. Uh, secondly will be Jota. So he started the season quite slow uh, for Wolves. Um, he, I was very impressed with him last season. Very tricky player. Him and Jimenez like, link up great up top. Um, hasn't had any attacking returns yet. But yeah, he's home to Burnley. feel like his season might start now. Like, he, they, he looked decent against Man U. Um, you could tell, like, he's coming into his own, probably just, like, you know, early season fitness and stuff. So they've had a tough start as well. They played Leicester the first game, who obviously looked good and man new, uh, just game week two. So, yeah, Jota is my second one. And then, finally, Walker Peters is my third tip. Um, they're playing Newcastle, who, as I've said, just look dead, like, stick... But remortgage your house. Yeah, trust me. If you're a betting man, stick money on them to go down. I think they're just over evens at the moment. So yeah, Walker Peters anyway. Tacking right back. He's still going to be playing. Fife is still injured. He was playing right back for Argentina in the Copa America. So sooner or later, when he comes back, I think he will take that spot. Or Aurier, uh, one of the two. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, he, yeah, he, he's looked all right this season. It's just a cheap way to get into Tottenham's back line. So he's only five million. So yeah, he's my third option. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, hope that, yeah, these three picks, good luck with them, yeah? I might actually choose one this week that I've actually picked out here. I'll be sick again. Finally, yeah, if you like the video, um, subscribe to the channel, show your friends. Um, yeah, I think the league's still open till the whole of August as well. So get in as many people as you can into this league. It's all a bit of fun. Um, yeah, subscribe to Views. Very good content on there. Not just the fantasy football, as I said last week. He's got the um, Everyone's a Pundit, which is... Very good debates. Um, yeah, I think if you like football, fantasy football, I think you really enjoy it. So, yeah, have a look. Until next week, peace out.